Hey guys, Rick Stone here from the blog Our Stony Acres and the Online Gardening School. Welcome to 5 Minute Fridays, my video series where I try and give you a valuable gardening tip in 5 minutes or less. Before we get started this week, please make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel, or if you're watching this on Facebook, make sure you like my Stony Acres Facebook page. And while you're at it, make sure you go check out our website, which is OurStonyAcres.com. All right, so this week we are going to do the first of several viewer submitted questions, uh, topics that people wanted me to do some videos about and talk a little bit more about. And uh, this week we're gonna talk specifically about using fabric row cover to not only extend your, your spring crop, but to accelerate the growth of your spring uh, crops, the different crops that you might be growing. So first off, let's talk a little bit about fabric row cover. I'll do a cutaway here so that you can see the beds that I currently have covered with it. Um, we're, we're using a, a lighter weight fabric row cover and you specifically for what we're gonna be talking about today, you want to make sure that you're using a lightweight fabric row cover, okay? You don't wanna use a heavy one. You don't wanna use a frost blanket because those are designed to keep the frost out, but they also keep a lot like 50% or more of the light out and they also keep uh, the water and the moisture out as well. So you want to avoid the heavy fabric row covers and you're going to use the lighter fabric row covers. So we're obviously going to be using this technique to uh, grow and accelerate, accelerate the growth of crops that can actually deal with some cold because the lighter fabric row covers only give you a degree or two of frost protection. So we're talking about hardy crops here. So most of all of your greens, lettuces, spinach, Swiss chard, mustard, all of those will do really well like this. Also all of your, your coal family crops, so broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, Brussels sprouts, kale, all of those will do really well uh, using this method too. Basically it's really simple. You're just going to throw the stuff on top and make sure it doesn't blow away and it's going to accelerate the growth of your crops. The, the way it does is it allows the sunlight and the moisture to go through and it warms up your beds and it traps that moisture and it creates a warmer environment underneath the fabric row cover than you have outside. So your seeds are gonna germinate faster and they're also going to grow a lot faster. Now, that's part of the reason why we have to use a lightweight fabric that will allow the sunlight to go through because as those seeds start to really grow faster, if they're not getting enough sunlight, then they're just gonna turn into a leggy mess. And so you wanna make sure you use this lighter quality of fabric row cover so that it can uh, you know, let plenty of light in for your plants to grow because we're not, you know, we're not trying to particularly protect them from the cold. We're trying to accelerate, accelerate the growth of already hardy plants by giving them more warmth, especially during the daytime. So that's kind of the object here. So it works really good. We use it. You can see this bed uh, has broccoli and some kale, also some cauliflower in there. Uh, the bed next to it has some cabbage that we use. Uh, we'll also use this a lot for uh, spinach and lettuce and again it just works really good to kind of get an extra quick start on all of those crops because it makes them warmer and gives them a warmer environment to grow in. Now there's an added benefit to this as well and that is pest protection and I've got a whole video about using fabric row cover as a pet pest protector. I'll leave a link to that so that you can you can see a little bit more but it's a huge advantage uh, to keep the bugs out, especially those bugs that really start bothering uh, plants like, uh, you know, your coal crops, broccoli, cabbage, all of those. It'll keep the, the leaf hoppers out. It'll keep leaf miners out. It'll keep aphids off of your plants. And so uh, it's a really good idea to use this. Now, some people will put it on a hoop and uh, I'm a little too lazy for that. Usually um, I, I have done it a time or two but I actually prefer to just throw it over the top. And then as the plants start to grow, you can see I've got these little stakes. I tie a twine in between them. And you know, I'm, I'm always constantly taking it on and off and checking the plants. And so when they start to grow and get a little bit bigger and I don't want the fabric row cover pressing down on them anymore, I just throw the fabric row cover over the top of the twine. That gives it a little bit of support. And in the case of plants like broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower, I'm gonna leave this fabric row cover on probably the entire season because it'll keep the bugs off. It'll just keep all of those pests, the aphids and all of that kind of stuff that you don't want 
crawling on your plants. It'll just keep them off and, uh, and make for a good, strong, healthy plant. For those of you that are still in the cold areas, uh, you, you know, you're really going to find a good advantage to uh, adding this fabric grow cover to your crops. It'll get them started better and it'll just get them off and going. So give it a try. All right, that's all I have for this week. Again, make sure you subscribe to all of my different social media outlets. Also, check me out on Instagram. That's new. Uh, just getting started there uh, at Our Stony Acres. And uh, so check us out and go subscribe, like, all that kind of stuff. And that's all I have for this week. Everybody have a fantastic week. Happy gardening.